Today, we push the limits of Super Mario 3D World modding by making World 1-4 Plessy's Plunging Falls backwards. I edited the level so you start where the goal flag is, and the goal flag is where the player's normal starting position is. I have unintentionally created the most difficult Plessy level that I have ever played. I hope you enjoy watching this video to the end, or maybe the beginning, depending on which way we are going. In World 1-4, Plessy's Plunging Falls, we start where the goal flag normally is, and there isn't a pipe here that normally takes us back to the level, because this pipe normally disappears once you go through it. I had to swap this pipe with the previous pipe, and after that, we run into our next big problem. How are you supposed to go back up the level? You normally have a big drop down a waterfall here with Plessy, and even if you try to swim back, there's an invisible wall that prevents you from going any farther. So let's do this, let's move Plessy to the new start of the level. But even with Plessy here, we still can't make it back up the waterfall, so we need a way to get up the waterfall with Plessy. This might sound a bit strange because I think this doesn't happen anywhere in the game, but I wanted to test what would happen if you go into a warp box while you are on Plessy. Even though these warp boxes work fine for Mario, they unfortunately don't work while you are riding on Plessy. I tried adding some stairs made out of hard blocks for Plessy so that we could climb up here, and so far this looks promising, Plessy is able to climb up these stairs and we don't break these blocks with Plessy. But if I continue with the stairs at this current slope, it isn't going to be steep enough to make it up to the top. I tried to make the stairs steeper from here, and it looks like this might work out fine. Plessy was still able to climb these steep steps. After a lot of work and placing all of these blocks to make stairs that lead all the way up to the top of the waterfall, I was finally ready to load up the level and see if Plessy could make it back up to the top of the waterfall. When I loaded the level, this is what happened. That's right, the level is loading for this whole time because of all the blocks that I added into the level. I was wondering if the level actually would load and I would get to play eventually. After a few minutes, I was surprised to hear that Mario actually did say, let's go! And I was thinking that the level would actually load, but then the game crashed. There must have been too many blocks in this level for it to handle. So I had to completely remake the stairs, this time I made the stairs not as wide so we don't have as many objects in the level, and let's give this another test. I really hope that Plessy can climb up these stairs without falling off. And after a very long and very slow climb back up the stairs, we actually made it up to the top of the waterfall on Plessy. And the movement with Plessy when the course is backwards is really weird. One of the funniest things is that your controls are inverted compared to how they normally work on Plessy. In the default version of this level, it was designed so that you're always going down the river, with the camera always facing down the river. So if we make Plessy go backwards, the controls still act like we're going downhill by default. One really nice thing about this exact spot here is that when we made the level backwards, in this spot here you can actually make Plessy go forwards or backwards, and this is one of the only spots that you can do that. I was trying very carefully to make my way up the level without falling off the ledges, because I know that there are some ledges that you can fall off of that are coming up soon, and I do not want to fall off and have to climb up all the way back up these stairs again, because it takes a long time to climb up these stairs. It is much faster to fall down the waterfall than it is to climb up these stairs back up the waterfall. The speed boost panels give you an incredibly scary speed boost, which I do not want because of how the camera works right now. The camera makes you not able to see at all what is ahead of you, or maybe what's behind you. My point is that it's scary because you might fall off the ledge here. I was continuing along the level, on Plessy, going back up the level. Plessy had an interesting way of swimming here, I thought that this looked interesting. I went over this fence here, and I wasn't able to make it around this bend, and I fell off. I think it might have actually been a good thing that I fell off here, because otherwise I would have reached the next waterfall, and I wouldn't have been able to get up this waterfall. So let's add some more stairs to the remaining waterfalls, and try to finish off Plessy's Plunging Falls backwards. And my dear viewer, I have to tell you, this is seriously the most difficult Plessy challenge I have ever done. No Plessy level has ever come close in terms of difficulty. The camera doesn't let you see what's ahead of you, and the controls are completely different. But the worst part of all is that every single time you fall, you have to climb all the way back up these stairs, and it takes very long to do this, you have to time your A presses nicely to make it up these stairs, and I've had to climb up these stairs with Plessy many, many times. 
This is such an intense moment that requires so much concentration. I have fallen so many times here. These bends are so close. So many times I have fallen off these edges. This is difficult to do when the level isn't even backwards, but with your controls inverted and the camera being so hard, this is just so difficult. And when I made it over to these thin stairs here, my heart was pounding. You have to be so careful with every little movement while you're heading up these stairs. Because if you fall off, you can't go backwards with Plessy. So you'd have to redo the entire level and climb up the huge set of stairs at the beginning again. After many, many attempts, it looks like I'm finally going to make it to the end of the level. Or I guess the beginning of the level with Plessy. What a huge relief. For a moment, we have a safe part of the run where we can just enjoy the ride. But I'm not sure if there are still more waterfalls up ahead, so I have to stay careful and stay towards the right side in case I have to start jumping upstairs again. We reach a small island that's sticking out of the right side of the map and there isn't a way to jump onto it from here. I don't want to leave the right side in case there's another waterfall up ahead and we have to climb upstairs, so I hug the right side as I go along the island, being careful to stay towards the right. I keep hugging the right side as much as possible, and in a moment we come across another small island sticking out of this side again. Eventually, as we keep moving along, my sticking to the right does pay off, and I'm very glad that I was careful here, because there is, in fact, another waterfall that we have to use the stairs on the right to climb up. If I was too far to the left, I wouldn't have been able to make it onto these stairs, and we wouldn't have been able to climb up this final waterfall. As we are climbing up the waterfall, time starts to run low, and we've got less than 100 seconds now. We continue along the final stretch of the level with time running low, and hopefully we will have enough time to reach the goal pole. We move across some familiar terrain, we're seeing some of these enemies, we get a speed boost, and we are right about to get to the beginning of the level. But I can't get off Plessy. The goal object wasn't set up correctly. I can't go backwards to the flagpole, I'm stuck on Plessy, and there's nothing I can do until I edit the level to fix this and do this again. After fixing some stuff in Spotlight, I was able to make it to the end of the level, which is now the beginning of the level, on Plessy, and get the flag. This was such a huge relief to finally finish this level. Doing this level on Plessy was seriously tough. And that made me think, hey, let's try doing this level backwards while we are not on Plessy. I removed these doors in Spotlight so that we wouldn't be met with any surprises when we made it up to the top, and I got started with Mario. We run by Plessy, and Mario makes his way through the water, and he starts climbing up these steps. I'm being really careful with these steps because I really, really, really do not want Mario to fall down after we've already made it up really high with these steps because it takes a long time to climb up these steps. Some interesting things happen when you go back through this level without using Plessy. When we make it to the top, Mario can run in this water, and these pads don't give him a speed boost if he tries to use them. You might know this from my video where I made an unfair troll level in Super Mario 3D World, but you can walk straight into these enemies, and that defeats them, and you don't take any damage. The way that these walls here work is that there's actually a difference in elevation, so Mario runs off of it on his way back. Mario continues along up these steps that I put here for Plessy earlier, and it is much less scary to go up these steps than the other steps. If Mario falls off here, he can go backwards and Plessy can't go backwards, and it's very easy for Mario to climb up these steps. As I continued along the level, time was starting to run low, so Mario had to hurry. Yup, this is just a normal day in Super Mario 3D World. But it turns out the little bit of time I used to explore around the level earlier actually did cost me a lot because I couldn't make it back to the goal in time. It looks like Plessy and those speed boosts do go really quickly compared to Mario's normal speed. So I had to try this again, and I was trying to move really efficiently, and it takes a lot of time to climb up these steps. And when you fall here, it hurts a lot when you fall from here. It's really easy to fall off these steps, but you have to be fast at the same time, or else you won't have enough time to beat the level. I know that this was the toughest Plessy level I've ever completed when I had Plessy with me, but this is even harder without Plessy. After a few attempts and putting some time into this, it looks like I have a good amount of time left and I'll finally be able to complete the level. That's what I was thinking as I'm getting close to the end of the level. We've almost made it to the flagpole here. And here we go. 
Are you serious? You can fall there. I guess you can't normally go that way, so I shouldn't be too surprised that it's not connected, and you can just fall if you try to walk off like that. After a lot of attempts and a lot of time put into this, that was a very unfortunate way to die so close to the flagpole like that. But in the end, we finally made it. What an interesting turn of events this has been. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video, or the beginning of this video because everything is backwards. If you are interested in more of what is possible in the games through both regular gameplay and hacking, you might enjoy some other videos on my channel. Thank you so much for watching, hope you all have a fantastic day, and take care everybody.